Hello and welcome to Rock Paper Shotgun. My name is Colin Mahern and I'm very happy that 2020 is over. I'm sure you are too. While we'll be able to regale our grandkids with stories about toilet roll shortages and incompetent governments, last year would have been better if we were able to just do the things that we'd all been planning to do. However, now that we are a couple of weeks into the new year, we can all see that the calendar might as well just read December 2022. As in, again, you know what I mean. So, why not do your bit by staying indoors with a lovely new video game? While January's often light on big hitters, there are a few this month that you should keep on your radar. So, start your year proper and play something from this list of the top 10 video games to play on PC in January 2021. <laughs> Interactive's barcoded Baldy Boy returns this month for the final entry in the developer's World of Assassination trilogy. After breathing new life into the series with 2016's Hitman and hammering home the point in the wonderful sequel, the Danish developer is once again sending Ian Hitman all over the world to do loads more murdering. The Agatha Christie style English manor, the neon soaked streets of Chongqing, the lavish Dubai skyscraper. I can't wait to visit all these locations and see my well intentioned plans go up in smoke. I can't always replay the levels to be a stealthy contract killer, and of course I will. This is Hitman. The levels are essentially elaborate puzzles with many different ways to get to the same solutions. It's like a bloody Rubik's Cube. And you don't have long to wait because you will be able to fire bullets and coke cans at whomever you wish from the 20th of this month. Bluebird Team, the studio behind Layers of Fear, are back with Silent Hill inspired psychological horror The Medium. This is probably the developer's most ambitious game yet, as The Medium is played out in two different environments the world of the living and the world of the dead, and this creepy little girl that's lathered her face in melted down milky bars. Naturally, you'll have to navigate both realms in order to get to the bottom of what's going on, solving some puzzles and outrunning some nasty monsters along the way. Fingers crossed that the scares will be up to snuff in this environment switching effort. I'm sure you've rinsed Zero, both Kiwamis and Like a Dragon. So it's time you filled in that OCG shaped gap. Wonderfully, in 2021, you'll be able to do just that as the complete Yakuza collection, brackets sans spin offs, is coming to PC. While you'll have to wait until March to pick up Yakuza 6, the remaster collection launches later this month. If you're playing Yakuza 3 through 5 for the first time, then it's worth remembering that these aren't remakes. They look nicer than they did on PS3, but they don't feature all the quality of life improvements that have popped up in the newer games. However, the heart, character and batshit side quests should be more than enough to keep you entertained over the hundred or so hours. Seven long years, console players have been clamouring to get their favourite pixelated beat em up back on digital store shelves. Meanwhile, PC players have been left wondering if the game actually warrants the hubbub that surrounds it. Everyone will get to see if Scott Pilgrim vs The World the game would have been better off to stay in hyperbolic eulogies as the complete edition launches later this month. As well as the base game, this version of Scott Pilgrim comes with two DLC packs that came out during the game's original release, online multiplayer and some new mini games and modes. Hopefully, if you've been waiting a long time for this, it plays as well as the game that you remember. Does your heart skip a beat every time you hear the little BBC notification alert on your phone? Of course it does. You're human. 
So, if after around five years of extreme volatility, you are just looking for some calm, Sunlight could be the perfect game for you. By the sounds of it, the objective here is to simply relax. You're guided through a forest of harmonizing trees for a half an hour while you get to have a gander at some lovely hand-painted art. And as far as I can see, that's it. After 2021's rocky start, this might be the sedate video game you're looking for. <laughs> This dungeon crawling roguelike ARPG is all about resurrecting slain baddies to fight alongside you. Your sword is both death bringer and life giver as you can stroll over to any beastie you've just killed and bring them back from the dead. On top of your magic blade you can only have three other items on your person at any one time. And yes, the sentient departed are considered items, so choose your reanimated friends wisely. You do have access to other weapons to help you go deeper underground too, all of which should be different thanks to the game's procedural weapon generation system. If this game has piqued your interest, you can try before you buy. Just head over to Steam right now and you can download a demo. name of this one does a lot of the heavy lifting for me, in fairness, but I'll make it clear. In Gods Will Fall, you go one on one with a load of different gods and subsequently kill the bastards. Or you'll get captured in the process. Don't worry though, you have eight randomly generated warriors at your disposal, all with weapons exclusive to them. So if one of your lot finds themselves imprisoned, you can send another in on a rescue mission. And while they're there, they can also do the important killing the gods bit. I mean, they'll have to, because if you lose every last warrior, this hack and slash game boots you right back to the beginning. And the dungeons are procedurally generated, so you can't learn any layouts, I'm afraid. One for the masochistic crew to keep an eye on, perhaps. After playing the demo, I am all in on Olea or Olegia. I think it's Olea. I hope it is. I'm talking about the game that's on screen now, obviously. This 2D action platformer does one of my absolute favorite things in video games. It marries movement with combat. So you have a harpoon that you can fire at enemies. But rather than walk a few feet to retrieve it after you've javelined the pointy end inside someone, you can instead teleport to wherever the harpoon's landed. While it's undoubtedly great fun to stick sharp implements in others, there are sections where your enemy merely acts as a grappling point for you to progress through the world. It works so well in practice, at least in the short snippet I've played. Grab the demo on Steam now and see for yourself. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Encodia is a Monkey Island and Studio Ghibli inspired point and click adventure set in a dystopic cyberpunk Berlin. A little nine year old girl and her robot friend aren't keen on all that grey so they want to transform the German capital into a paradise. As it's a game very much in the LucasArts mould, your mission to add a splash of colour to the city will involve a bit of MacGyvering items together in order to solve puzzles. There are loads out there that would love to get stuck into a good point and click again, so hopefully this one will scratch the threepwood itch that's been nagging away at so many for years now. A big contra and a lot ninja Gaiden, Cyber Shadow is a retro looking side scrolling action game where you, an agile shuriken enthusiast and the last remaining member of your ninja clan, must slice and dice every last robot fella you come across. Incredibly, before Shovel Knight developer Yacht Club came on board to advise and publish, Cyber Shadow was just a one man operation. And what this one man has created looks fast, challenging, and super fun. This could be a sleeper hit when it launches on the 26th of January.
Whatever you end up playing over January, I hope you have the loveliest time with it. But do tell, what are you looking forward to getting your hands on this month? Is Agent 47's globetrotting adventure top of your to-get list? Are you eager to give some classic Yakuza games a go? Or do you want to play Derek Akora in Bloober Team's latest? Let us know in the comments. As always, thank you very much for watching, you absolute star. And remember, for all of your PC gaming needs, keep it on rockpapershotgun.com. Thank you.